Hello everybody, welcome back to XBLG and more importantly, welcome to Subnautica. Now I've played this for like, uh, must be about 10 minutes on the PC. I've never played it on Xbox. Uh, it was showcased at EGX Res, which was quite a while ago. Uh, but the queue for it was massive and I didn't get enough time to uh, queue up and get a couple of minutes game time in. So we're going to be checking it out today. We're going to be starting fresh with no idea what to do. I'm huffing because I'm pretty scared of the ocean. Uh, I don't mind kind of... Uh, I like surfing, I don't mind surfing, but when it comes to deep parts of the ocean, it's single-handedly the scariest thing ever. Uh, I would much rather be in space than in the ocean because I know that, well, technically that um, there aren't creepy, crawly, sluggy, manta ray thingies up in space, but there definitely is in the ocean. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I've been told that this game can be quite eerie at times as well. Uh, the sounds in it are a bit off-putting, but it's fine, we're going to ignore that. Uh, so, new game. Uh, okay, survival. Avoid dangerous creatures, find resources, and manage hunger and thirst to survive. Freedom, like survival, but without hunger or thirst. Hardcore, survival mode with only one life. Jesus. Creative, build anything with no constraints. Oxygen, food, pressure, story, and death disabled. Um, I think the thing we want to be focusing on the most is probably survival. I don't think I'm quite committed to being as easy as freedom. Hardcore, absolutely fucking not. And creative, might be good fun. It might be good to um, push the limits of uh, the Xbox One in terms of how much stuff it can render in before it starts going... Uh. So, yes, we're going to go for survival. I've just realised that where it says loading and in 46, 47, 48, 49 was the percentage of what it's loaded, but it's not. That's how many seconds have passed. The actual loading time is loading pref database and it's on 4%. Look how off centre my beard is today. That's going to annoy everyone watching now. You better keep your eyes off it. Okay, we ready? We in? Get into your suit. Oh, we're falling. There goes the fire extinguisher. All of it's going. All of it's going. It's going to hit you in the face, isn't it? Oh, that made me flinch. Oh, he's got weird red hands, by the looks of it. Get that fire extinguisher. There's a fire extinguisher in front of you. Have I got to do it now? Yes, okay. Uh, how do I use it? I'll tell you. Trying. Come on. I'm just checking. Okay, it's definitely all right, yeah. Awesome. This is broke. No, it's not. Booting in emergency mode. Okie dokie. Thanks. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory. Gotcha. Currently available construction. Hmm. That's not because the game's boring. Please take a moment. I'm tired. Familiarize yourself with it. Okay, cool. So press view to open and close your PDA. Awesome. Uh, I've still got a fire extinguisher, which is absolutely amazing. So this is obviously not looking good. I need a welder to repair, fabricator. Okay. Um, the Aurora has suffered catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life detected in 100 something. Time, three hours since planetfall. Life condition hull secure. Communications offline. Uncharted ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, water contamination high. Oh, that's beautiful. Reference information has been added to the PDA data bank. Advice will be issued as necessary. Good luck. Okay, fantastic. So I'm all on my own. Uh, well, for one thing, it runs better than ARC, which is a big relief because I knew that that's... Uh, what's that over there? You can kind of see it. You probably won't be able to see it on YouTube because it butchers quality, but there's something over there. Okay, um, so I can breathe kind of. Uh, but not for long, I guess. 
So I've got my oxygen bar down there. Uh, did I have a knife? I think it said I had a knife, didn't it? Let me open my waterproof PDA. Okay, I can move this. Okay, no, so I don't have a knife. Uh, I guess what I need to do is find resources. Uh, I remember watching this is that I can collect this junk. That might be a good idea. Let's collect all this junk. I might be able to butcher it for some sort of, I don't know, some sort of metal that I can use to make a knife, some sort of cutting device. So I picked up some scrap three times. Shall I just get as much as I can? So, quartz, yummy. So already I can kind of see some frame rate issues. Uh, nothing that's awful, but um, it, it's kind of like ARC. These, these PC ports that uh, th they bring in uh, to consoles on early access usually just aren't cut out to be played yet. Uh, I'm sure there'll be an awesome addition when maybe the App Project Scorpio comes out and stuff like that, but at the moment it's just... I don't know. I think it's because I'm a PC gamer as well. I, I struggle with anything lower than 60. All right, let's go and get some more air, even though we've got more than half. I kind of want this fish. Whoa, it's fast as hell, man. Do you see that? Okay, we've got some more scrap. There's a lot of scrap, actually. Let's pick this up. What's this over here? It's just like foliage. That's some nice, that's some cool little music. It's very um, under the sea. It's want some like Glockenspiel solo to come out of nowhere. Dun 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 dun. Let's get this. So you tap things to break them. Uh, I'm sure later on in the game there'll be. Oh look at this. Amazing. What is it? Is it Shong or something? I don't know. Conch. Shong? Fuck. Conch. Okay. Cool, so we got some stuff. Emergency. Ten of oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's get up on here. Please. Oh, I seriously need a mouse. <laughs> okay, let's get back in. I'm guessing this, not this. No, nope, not that either. This big thing here. Okay, so resources, basic materials, I've got some titanium, uh, I guess that was from uh, the hull, so let's get some titanium, let's get some more titanium, let's just get all the titanium I can get, I love this kind of machine though, that's wonderful. Uh, so I can get some titanium ingots, which I'm probably going to need. Uh, let's have a look. Why am I moving slightly? I don't know. So it's sustenance, water. I need bleach. Do I need bleach for water? Personal equipment. A pipe. Pump air from surface. I don't need that yet. Tools. Uh, welder. Survival knife. I need some silicon rubber. Uh, a scanner as well, which I need a battery. Okay, but for now, let's let's make some titanium ingots. Amazing looking titanium ingots. Okay. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Gotcha. Continuing to monitor. So I, I think that blows up. I don't know. Right. So we need some silicon rubber. Now what does silicon rubber look like? This is quartz. So that's definitely not silicon rubber. Giant coral tubes. I'm going for it. Amazing. I love that you can swim through these. Hey look, there's a fish. I'm pretty sure you can catch these and then like just cook them up. Come on. Come on. I will get you. I will get you. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, what the f where'd it go? Gave me the slip. Okay. Emergency. Ten seconds of I gotcha. Remaining. Whoa, okay. It doesn't like that. So, I'm looking for silicon rubber. That's the next thing on the list. 
So I need I need rubber apparently for a uh, creature egg. I'm not going in there. Hell no. I don't like sounds. Eat something. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was just like a big sign that was being pasted on my head. Telling all the creatures around here to eat me. I don't like the sounds. I really don't like the sounds. Okay, cool. Got some oxygen. I really don't know what silicon rubber looks like. Will it tell me? Uh, I can't do it down here, can I? That's ridiculous. Why would I do that down here? Okay. So... Silicon rubber. My creep vine seed clusters. See? That's better. So I'm guessing a creep vine will look like some seaweed. That's probably the, the best way of explaining what I think creep vine would look like. Just some like really disgusting seaweed. So maybe that's what I'm looking for. And look at the difference between the, the resolution on the uh, planet when you're underwater and when you're above it. Amazing. But it does look really pretty. It does look really pretty. Oh, some frame rate issues there. And I'll, I'll be picking on that a lot. And it might annoy you with some people, but I think it's important. How cool does that look? Very impressed. Okay. Um, so, at least I can actually kind of see stuff. What's that over there? What is it? Is that creep vine? No, it's not. It's like a big, it's like a big disgusting fish. That must be creep vine. Are you gonna leave me alone? No, I'm sorry. No. Oh, you look like Abe from Oddworld. Leave me alone, please. Okay, right. Let's get this. And I want to go check this out because this this must be creep vine. Ah, oh, the sounds are just horrendous. <laughs> 